We are only two weeks away from the end of first semester. While we are all excited for winter break, we have to get through the next couple of weeks. To help manage your stress levels, the Drop-In Center is here to help. To learn more about the Drop-In Center and how HPHS students can access this resource, I spoke with two of the Drop-In Center's interns, Katie and Alex. So what exactly is the Drop-In Center? So the Drop-In Center is a safe, friendly, comfortable, and informal environment available to all Highland Park students. So we serve the community by providing individual counseling, support groups, problem-solving appointments, but also crisis intervention. Drop-In really gives students a safe space for them to talk to someone, to work out, navigate how to problem-solve an issue, um, but also just a shoulder to cry in, but also a cheerleader. Can you walk me through the experience a student might have if and when they choose to utilize the drop-in center as a resource? Being virtual right now, you'll pop into a Zoom room with one of us and we'll show up with big smiles on our faces and it'll just really be an open conversation for as long or as little as you need, as Katie just mentioned, to really talk about anything that's on your mind. What about the drop-in center makes it a safe environment? Why should a student feel comfortable really sharing their inner stresses with one of the drop-in center interns or someone who's working in the drop-in center? Everything said within drop-in is completely confidential. So we kind of have the mentality of what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Um, so all the counselors within drop-in are mandated reporters. So the only time we would have to break that confidentiality is if a student is in danger or someone else is in danger. But anything outside of that is extremely confidential. Anything said within the space only is kept between the student and the um, drop-in intern or counselor. And then also too, students are going to drop-in to see true professional help and treatment. So when they're visiting the drop-in center, they're either working with a professional who has a doctorate degree, a professional who has a graduate degree, and everyone is licensed except for the drop-in interns. But us, the drop-in interns, we are about to be Northwestern graduates. Um, we will be licensed come June and graduating. So you are, you know, receiving really true professional care and help. It's getting colder outside. Winter is starting to approach, the seasons are changing, the end of the semester is near. Students will start dealing with more stresses. What are those stresses and what, how can they cope with those stresses and make sure that their mental health is in check? One thing that's very common in the winter time is a complete lack of motivation. A little tip that I have for you all is to make daily checklists. That includes literally putting things like taking a shower, eating lunch, eating a snack, little things that you just need to get through the day because the art of checking something off a list and feeling that sense of accomplishment activates happy hormones in your brain and it can help you feel that sense of achievement Achievement, and will also get your motor running to feel more motivated to do certain things. So as little as it sounds, it can go a really long way. Sleep is so important. It's so easy to just kind of, oh, it's it's fine. I just have to push through but make sure that you are getting sleep and you are taking care of yourself or you're not going to be able to focus and do things that you want to do properly. So give yourself that break, make sure to get sleep and rejuvenate your body. How and when can a student access the drop-in center as we continue to work remotely and virtually this year through online e-learning? We really, really wish we could be in person seeing you all, but for the time being, we are still here and we really want to stress that. Please come see us. We're dying to talk to you. You can go to the Highland Park High School website and then when you go under the staff department pages, you'll see the counseling department. There's a specific website for the drop-in center and right there front and center on the page is the link that you can click to schedule an appointment appointment. It's really user friendly. It'll sync with your school Google calendar and you can book as early as three days out and as close to two hours before the time you would want to be able to see a drop in staff member, which is really nice to give you that flexibility. A huge thank you to Katie and Alex for sharing information on how you can access the drop in center. The drop in center is truly a unique and beneficial resource offered to HPHS students. Well, HP, that's all we have for you today. Until next Friday, from all of us at HP TV Friday News, I'm Ben Fitzsimons. And I'm Stephen Noble. Have a great weekend.